Welcome to the Interact Tracking Tool training session, um, reviewing the monthly summary. Um, today we're going to look at the January 2014 and the February 2014 uh, worksheet. My name is Diana Bond, and I'm a project coordinator here at Healthcare Quality Strategies Incorporated. Um, the objectives are going to be reviewing the automatically produced reports. Um, we're going to look at um, the readmission measures by month, as well as the transfer measures by month. Um, and just a note for printing, uh, reports have been automatically set up to print one report per page, um, so that's a very nice feature. I'm going to pop out of the uh, PowerPoint here, and we're going to enter into the um, Excel document. Um, we're going to look at the um, January 2014 uh, monthly summary. Um, and as I scroll over here on the bottom of the sheet, you will see that you have um, January through, um, we'll just go one more over, um, through December. Um, so right now we're just going to focus on the January and February um, reports. Again, these are automatically produced for you. Um, and the most important thing to um, note right here in the um, white information section is to look at the date um, here at the very bottom. This is going to tell you when this particular report is considered complete um, because it does automatically calculate for you and determine based on your transfers um, to the hospital and when um, patients' uh, discharge dates from the hospitals occurred, whether or not your data is mature. Um, so in this case, in the uh, January 2014 um, monthly summary, um, our data was complete as of March 30th, 2014. Um, so the uh, first chart here includes uh, the different rates uh, for that particular month. Um, we're looking at it based on their post-acute care um, resident rates um, for the chronic long-term um, residents and then for all residents. It does give you the count of patients here in the gray line and here in the next row underneath that it gives you the rate. Um, and the next item here is the resident days. Um, a quick note about using um, the 1,000 resident days as a measure. Um, it allows you to track your facility's progress over time. Um, and it also allows you to compare your facility to other facilities, um, regardless of differences in um, census or um, bed count. Um, so we're going to continue on down. The final um, bit of information that it does provide you here is the specific numerators and denominators. So it shows you how it's calculating all those uh, different numbers. Um, I'm going to scroll back up to the top, and I'm going to show you the February 2014 uh, monthly summary. Again, in this white section where you include the notes, if you can um, just pay attention again to that date. This here is telling me that my date is not yet complete. Um, I'm giving this presentation on March 28th, um, so I still have a few more days um, until this uh, data here will be considered mature. Um, so that's the important thing to keep in mind there. Always take a look at um, this number here to make sure that you are indeed looking at your most complete um, information. It's the same kind of report. Um, includes all the different breakdowns um, for your transfers and so on. Um, so with that, I'm going to say thank you very much uh, for attending. And if you have any uh, questions, certainly um, give me a call or send me an email, and my contact information is listed there.